Good morning. Um, hi. We're back from spring break. Um, it is currently, let's see what the current time is. Um, 6.36 in the morning. My family is awake today. Um, my husband is watching Amelia before he goes to work for me so I can film this real quick for you guys. It's a morning meeting. Yay! I have my coffee. I hope you bring your coffee. My coffee has a owl mug. We've got lots of these in our, I guess you can call it a mug collection. We have a lot. Maybe I'll do more of these so you can see all my mugs. <clears throat> But anyways, yeah, I thought I'd jump on and talk to the iPad this morning and say hello to you guys and show you guys my face. Um, so yeah, uh, I know I haven't done one of these in a while and I'm sorry, I'm going to try and do them on a weekly basis. I really want to do them at least twice a week, but um, I'm trying to give myself a little grace and just do them when I can. So I can today, so I am. All right, so I'm gonna pull up the Manteca Bulletin so we can go over the newspaper. All right, Manteca Bulletin. If you have the Manteca Bulletin or a phone or something that you could pull it up on, I just went to Google, typed in Manteca Bulletin. There you have it. It's got some news on the front. Um, so yeah. So first we're gonna review today's date. So we are in what month? The month is April. Um, what day is it? It's the 22nd. Happy Earth Day! Today is Earth Day. That is amazing. Um, so since it's Earth Day, I'm going to ask you guys to go outside today, um, at least once. Go outside at least once. Take a walk in your backyard. Walk to the mailbox. Get your mail, something. But go outside. Catch some rays on your skin. Um, and yeah, look at some plants if you can. You guys know how much I love plants. I mean, look. Look at all my plants back there. I mean, you should see what's over here. So many plants. You guys know I'm the crazy plant lady. So, <laughs> yeah, enjoy some nature today because um, it is Earth Day. Anyway, so yes, April 22nd, and we are in year 2020. <clears throat> um, let's see what the news says today. Um, excuse me, I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> Anybody else's allergies been really bad? Mine have been especially bad this last week. Okay. So. <coughs> excuse me. Um. Um. Excuse me. Okay, so it says lights shine bright for seniors on 2020 this Friday. Oh. Um, it says the lights will shine bright every Friday night now, from now through May 29th for the graduating class of 2020. Um, there's, this is our way of letting our seniors know that we're thinking about them, says Lathrop High Principal. He, along with the principals and active directors at Manteca High School East Union and Sierra High School and Western Ranch High, met with um, Carla. She's the senior director of um, secondary education for the Manteca Unified School District. The district, um, and decided last Thursday to honor the graduating class by turning on the stadium scoreboards to 2020 military time or 8.20 p.m. Well, that makes sense. 
with um, the 2020 score posted in lights um, that following day from the COVID-19 pandemic. So the picture shows, it looks like fives on my screen, but it really is twos. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that's cool. Yeah, East Union and other um, high schools are doing so at their representative football stadiums as symbols of strength, community, hope, and school spirit, and most of all, commitment. Cool. That's really cool. All right, let's see what else is inside the news. Local news. So it says San Joaquin County issues guidelines for non-essential businesses to perform basic operations. So I'm assuming this is for the, the coronavirus, um, how they're expecting local businesses to reopen. Yeah, so it says corona right there. While businesses that have been classified as non-essential still aren't allowed to open to the public, health officials are now allowing those businesses to carry out basic um, operations during the COVID-19 shutdown on Sunday. Um, the county released a video explaining the new rules in the amended order that issues last week. An order that includes a previous uh, provision that will allow for minimal basic operations for non-essential businesses as long as they stay closed to the general public during this period. Um, hmm. Okay, so here it says what they're allowed to do. They're allowed to do inventory. Um, um, yeah. Oh, so they're talking about gyms, bingo halls, card rooms, um, restaurants, dine and stuff like that. They need to remain closed. But I'm assuming this is just them talking about um, how, I don't know if you guys have been with your parents or whoever out into the community, but sometimes you could do curbside pickup. So if a store is not open, sometimes you can call and tell them what you want from their store, do an order over the phone, and then when you go to the store, they'll bring it out to your car or they put it on the porch and you go and you pick it up, however they're doing it. So this is probably what it's discussing so but anyways why don't we move on to weather so i'm going to open up my weather app it's currently 51 degrees here in manteca today's weather it looks like the high is going to be 82. you see that wow that is warm what about tomorrow tomorrow the high is 86. 86. 10 day forecast, <clears throat> you can see it here. It looks like it's gonna be getting into the 90s next week, wow. 93 on Tuesday, 92 on Wednesday. That is warm, like very, very warm. That's like almost summer temperatures, so um, that's kind of crazy. That's very warm. And it's kind of abnormal for April for us to be that warm, but I feel like our seasons are changing as the world goes round, I guess. So that's pretty cool. Now let's do some horoscopes. I know last time I had asked you guys to do your own. Just because I can't remember everybody's horoscope. <clears throat> 
So I'm just going to look up Taurus. Taurus horoscope. So I am a Taurus. I know a DD is a Taurus. And Miss Crystal is also a Taurus. So there's three of us in class that are a Taurus. And it says, are you waiting for a love partner to phone you at work, Taurus? As much as you want to hear from your friend, you could well get so caught up in your work that you wouldn't hear the a marching band go by. As you work, be sure to keep one ear tuned to the real world by looking up or getting up and walking around occasionally. It's good advice. Otherwise, you might submerge what you want the most today. Dig deep. An ad popped up. Dig deep into matters of the heart with a phys with a with a physic love reading. Oh, a psychic love reading. I don't know about that but interesting I guess what the takeaway from this for us Taurus is would be to not get so deep into your work and to always make sure you're taking your breaks like you need to be taking your breaks which is good advice for me I had a long day yesterday of work but today I don't think I'm as busy so I can do some other stuff for you guys make more videos like this because I'm not swimming in paperwork <laughs> all right so if you want to see your horoscope I'm gonna encourage you guys to look it up um, there's multiple places on the internet that you can find your horoscope so yeah anyways I think that's all for today as far as this goes um, but remember it's Earth Day. Take a walk outside if you can. Um, in your backyard. Stay on your property. Just get some sunshine because it's going to be a beautiful day in the 86s. That is warm. So, yeah, be sure to do that. Love the Earth today because it is Earth Day. And I will talk to you guys soon. Um, yeah. All right. Don't forget your coffee. I miss having coffee with you all. Okay? Um, have a great rest of your week. I will continue to update the Padlet every single day. I already updated it today. Make sure you go onto the Padlet and you look at today's daily question. The daily question for today is, what is your current favorite movie? So currently, what movie do you like watching a lot? Mine's in the comments if you want to see it, so make sure you go over to that post and you read it um, or have a parent read it to you, okay? All right, I'm going to sign off. Um, We'll talk again soon. Bye.